Hey everyone, this is Nick. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to build a fully automated Azure data pipeline. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Azure, it's Microsoft's powerful cloud computing service. You can upload data into storage accounts, build SQL databases, data warehouses, NoSQL databases, and much, much more. In this particular video, I'll show you the pipeline in action, what it does, how it's structured, and how it could be used in a real-world situation utilizing the extract, transform, and load methodology. To get started, this pipeline runs through five steps. With one click, we're going to be able to upload an Excel file into an Azure Data Lake storage. The next step is going to launch a Data Factory pipeline, which is just a tool in Microsoft to help build and execute pipelines. That's going to send that clean, that raw data into a Databricks notebook where I have a Python script that I wrote that's going to clean and transform it. And it's going to send that data, once it's cleaned, back into an Azure Data Lake storage folder. So we can see the raw data, we can see the clean data, and kind of compare the two if you needed to. And it's also going to load that clean data into a SQL database. And again, this all happens automatically after just one click, which is really, really neat. And I'm excited to show you. Um, so first, let's go to our local Excel file. So. This is just some sample data here. So if you have employee name, you have Nick, right? His employee number is one. He sold 70,000 and closed on January 1st, right? Ashley is employee number three, sold 50,000 on January 15th. And I intentionally made this messy. So we have to clean it a little bit later. So you see Nick is employee number 25. He actually should be number one. Ashley is 50, she actually should be number three. We wanna get rid of these dollar signs to upload into SQL databases later on. Um, and so this Python, I'll have a Python script that will actually clean all of this for us. Now, to send this to the cloud, we're gonna use our command line interface with AZ copy. And if you're unfamiliar with some of these terms, don't worry, in later videos, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do this, all right? So what you wanna do you want to go into our command line interface. All you're going to do is on Windows, go down to your little search bar here and type in CMD to get to your command line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually find our path. And again, we're going to use AZ copy. And what AZ copy is, is it's just a command line utility that will allow you to send data to different sources. And one of those is a local file our local Excel file into the cloud. And it really just takes two arguments. It's going to take in what file we want to send to the cloud. So all we're going to do is go into our folder here and we're going to go in and click on which file we want to send to the cloud. And then up here you're going to click on copy path. So it's actually going to copy the path that you want to send it in. Okay. And we're going to go back into our command line here. Okay, and we're going to hit control V to paste this here. Then you hit a space and then double quotes. And now we're going to say, where do we want to send this local Excel file to? Okay, in this case, we're going to send it to an Azure Data Lake storage, which is right here. And again, I'll show you how to do all this later in later steps. But what this is, is the Azure Data Lake storage. And this is our kind of what's called a container. This is like a big warehouse for all of our folders and files that we want to use for this project. Okay. And then once you close the quotes, you're just going to hit enter. And it's going to scan it and run it. And if you see, so the job was completed, right, and successful. So we sent it to the cloud. And that was the first step. So now we can close out of this. And now this is in our Azure Data Lake storage account. And again, I will go over all these things in later videos. This is more just the overview. And we're going to go into our container. We're going to that pipeline test that I mentioned that we're going to send it to. And click on that. And we're going to see the data was actually just uploaded into here already. Uh, and so if you click on it, you click on this edit button here, it's going to show you um, all the data, right? So Nick 25 here, 70,000, this is all the data we just uploaded. So that's the first step, okay? The second step is going to launch a data factory pipeline. And that is right here. And again, this is just a tool in Microsoft that allows you to build pipeline steps and help you kind of figure out how you want to build your pipeline and, you know, execute it. So that raw data is going to get sent to a Databricks notebook. And that's going to be right here. And what Databricks is, is it's an analytics platform built on top of Apache Spark. Okay, you can use this notebook 
to transform, clean, analyze data using different programming languages, which I'll show in later videos. Right, and Apache Spark is a distributed cluster computing framework. In essence, it's a processing engine that allows you to pr process enormous amounts of data extremely quickly and cost effectively. Okay, in the notebook, I wrote a Python script, and I'll also show you how to load in data from an Azure Data Lake storage, how to display it using PySpark. If you want to convert the data to transform, if you like pandas instead, the pandas library, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'll show you how to break it just into lists, so you can transform data using the standard Python libraries if you want to. Okay, and then I wrote a script to actually clean the data for us. And then, once that's complete, it's going to load it and write it back into an Azure Data Lake storage account automatically into a new folder. So, as I'm talking, this is already running, right? So if we go back here, and we go back to our Data Lake storage account, we're going to have a new folder here called Updated Data. If you click on this, and this part here, we click on this down here, and I'll show you again what all this is later on. And you click on Edit, this is now going to be our clean data, right? So it's going to show Nick, and it's going to show his employee number. Again, the dollar signs are removed, the commas are removed, so easier upload to different data sources. And if you look here, Nick's not 25 anymore. Ashley isn't 50, right? They all have their correct numbers, how they're supposed to be. So that's the clean data, okay? And that's that next step, okay? And it's going to load it back in there. And then the final step, it's actually going to take that clean data in that new Azure storage account and load it into a SQL database automatically. So if we go to our cloud database here, I have a table called sales data. And if I run this, it's going to show the clean data is now fully uploaded in there. And again, the great thing about this is this all happens automatically. So if you have new data that comes in every week, you can load it and do it automatically and it'll run for you. So as a real world example, uh, if, for instance, one of your responsibilities at work is to extract data from a sales application, clean it, load it into the cloud, and then later into a SQL database, um, this pipeline will actually do that for you. Uh, so it's really, really neat. Um, so thank you for your time. Uh, in the next set of videos, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to run this pipeline and transform it. Thank you.